What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're going to go and do a shrine in the Hebron Mountains. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a regular or if you're a member, thank you so much for your help. I really, really do appreciate it. Right. The name of the shrine is El Tom Shrine and it's in the Hebron Mountains and it's uh, one of the ones that you lose all your gear once you get in and you have to fight off uh, a few gardens. But this one is a little bit different. There's like uh, hazards involved, like kind of like spikes and things like that. I tried to play with the spikes to try to hurt the guardians, but that didn't work out too well. So I decided to just go all guns blazing, get all the weapons that I could and uh, try to get their weapons because they had very, very powerful weapons. But the best way for you to do is to get rid of the weak ones that are on the outside and then just use the arrows that you collect from those ones to try to get the more, the harder ones that are inside and try to entice one out instead of going in and fighting all three of them because it's going to be a, a big fight. So um, uh, let's go and do this one. Uh, you get like a long stick and you get a bow and arrows and I think you get a um, a shield as well. Yeah, you do get a shield as well. So you get you get a um, no actually you don't get a a, uh, a bow you get two sticks one big one one small one and then you get a shield right go to the right in here and you see that there's a guardian in here he's on his own so you can just attack it until you get rid of it and just be careful because he can hit you with that long stick and it's uh it's painful if you can pick up the stick then like that he can't do absolutely anything. And when you go to the entrance, the entrance is around the corner, there's going to be an archer there and you're going to need his bow and, and his uh, arrows, so that's, that's it's really handy that he's there, so you can deal some damage to the guys inside. As, it, as you can see to your right, there are some uh, spikes in there and I thought oh, I might play with the spikes to see if they, if, they can, uh, um, if they can hurt the other gardens, but they can't. And uh, yeah, I didn't have much much uh, luck with that. Uh, I was trying to, that's the alarm system. I was trying to get rid of it, uh, but it just didn't work. And the alarm is on now again. So uh, how I did this was I got rid of um, one of these spike things, because you can use your ultra hand to move them out of the way and let one of the guardians come out and, uh, and kind of like fought him off on its own because because there's another two guardians inside and you really don't want to attract all of them so if you come to the side here just move the spikes one of the guardians is going to come out he's got a really nice weapon if you can get uh if you get it's, it's like a shock one if you can get uh um defeat him it is really um really good because you can get that weapon and that weapon makes your life a lot easier defeating the other two guardians and there you go you you can just get it now and look look at the damage that it does oh yeah actually i'm gonna choose that one <laughs> it's really good that's it done uh, and then pick up what it, whatever it drops and uh, we got two more to fight off inside so one of them is an archer he's on the right hand side so just make sure that you avoid his, his arrows he's got some shock arrows which are not <laughs> which are not good at all because that would make you kind of like lose all your weapons and stuff so you really don't want to uh to be shot by them and then there's another guy in here as you can see he's got like a spiky one uh, but because you got the shock one you'll drop that spiky one once you hit him once and uh makes the life a lot easier like this and then you got an, the the final guy with the arrows just wait for it to shoot an arrow and then you can just go right next to it and that is really it you just have to finish him off now he's got no bow he's got no weapons and uh, the construct spa is finally finished. That will open the bar so you can go and pick up what's in the chest and uh, go and pick up your light of blessing and that will finish off the, the, the shrine. I did look around to see if there was anything else that I could uh, get, like inside of boxes and stuff. There's a couple of boxes on the other side that's got some arrows in it. So if you if you need arrows, you can just kind of like break the boxes. Some of them have got nothing. There's a, a little room in here that had lasers previously. And uh, there's going to be um, some barrels in here. I don't, I don't remember if these ones had anything. I didn't even break them, I don't think. Oh, here we go. I so saw five arrows on that one and one arrow on the other one. So uh, there's there's a, a few more boxes here on the left. Hand. Oh, actually, there aren't any more. That is really it. You just have to go and pick up your Light of Blessing and pick up uh, what's inside of the chest. 
and that will finish the shrine for you. So I guess this is it for this video guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very very soon. So thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.